So this is the FlySky SM100 USB RC simulator cable. So this cable um, utilizes uh, this little port here on your RC remote, or like this one, which is labeled DSC. And um, it plugs into that on one end, and the other end of it is a USB. And this is so you can plug it into your uh, computer and uh, play uh, games with it and use your RC remote as a uh, controller on games on your laptop. So let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so this is the main cable. It goes from USB to this headphone looking jack thing. And then these other cables are for um, different types of remotes, like some of the helicopter and plane remotes. But since we're just using a standard three channel or two channel remote, it's no big deal um, just to use it this way. So I think it's just stapled right here on the back. So, that's it. These two cords aren't really necessary, but this cord is gonna go in this jack, and then this is gonna plug into your computer. So, um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use this cable, the uh, Flysky SM100. I'll put a link in the description. It's gonna, uh, it was about 10 bucks on Amazon. But um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this on VRC Pro, which is an online virtual RC racing game. So let's get to it. Right, so the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and uh, set all your trims to zero, to neutral, and um, adjust the dual rate to uh, 100%. And then after that, go ahead and plug the cord in and if I just take the other end of this cord, and before you open VRC, just go ahead and plug this in to the USB. It'll turn on. Make sure that uh, your computer acknowledges it, and then you're good to open VRC. All right, so now you have your remote plugged in, and all the trims are set to uh, neutral. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to uh, settings and type in USB. Okay. You're going to look for a setup USB game controller. Click that. Once you're in this, go to properties. Go to settings. Reset to default. Calibrate. Click next. Don't do anything here. Now, what you're going to want to do here is uh, go ahead and move your throttle all the way to 100% forward and reverse. And then you're steering all the way right to left. So throttle 100%, throttle right. It doesn't matter the order you do it in. Just you need to do 100% throttle, 100% steering both ways. So reverse, reverse forward, right, left, right, left. And you can make it do a little circle too. Once you're done with this, you can see how before it was skipping around and now it's like in one place generally. So now you just click next since, um, Again, don't do anything. And since this is a RC remote, it doesn't have a Z axis or an X or Y rotation, so you're good. Just go ahead, click through those, and click Finish. Then once you click Finish, make sure to click Apply and click OK. Now, click OK again. So now you can go ahead and open the RC. All right, so now we're in. Now that you've already calibrated your remote and it's plugged in and turned on, what you need to do is go to options down here, then go to control options. And then here, you're probably set on keyboard right now, but what you wanna do is go ahead and switch over to PPM. That should be your controller. Then once you're on PPM, these should both be at 0%. If that's at 0%, that means you calibrated it correctly. If it's not at 0%, then go back and calibrate it again. 
Um, for this, uh, if you have something that you want to adjust on your remote with your steering, do not use the knobs on your remote or do not use the knobs on your remote. Use this controls in the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this at like neutral and then neutral and then just click OK. So that's pretty much it. Your controller should now be set up. You can go ahead and just, uh, I'll just click practice and it should be working. Yep. So that's it. Pretty simple. Welcome to this, track. Enjoy your racing. this game is, mind you, this game is a little bit different than real life. And you have to remind yourself of that. It's a little bit harder to play. Um, the physics aren't like quite the same that you would expect in real life. So it's kind of, it has a learning curve at the beginning. And I just got this game today. So um, it's definitely a huge learning curve for me. I'm not very good yet. But ju just take it slow. Sometimes the geography of the track doesn't seem quite as intense as it actually is on the image, so it affects your car more than you think it might, just from the looks of it, because you can't really, your perception isn't as good as in, like, real life. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Seems to be working. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.